This is the start guide for the Yamaha ZG01. I, I, this is so cute. I love this so much. Uh, it might be my favorite part of the product. It's not. Let's talk about the product. Was that dramatic? I was going for dramatic. Hey, so last video I announced a giveaway for the Wave DX, the extra one that Elgato sent me, and the random picker picked Woodsy Gamer. So I will be sending this to you as soon as I'm done filming this video. Thanks for being a subscriber, homie. The cool thing is Yamaha also sent me an extra ZG01. So uh, here's the deal. We're gonna have the same rules as last time. We're gonna give this away to someone who needs an audio interface. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you subscribe to my personal YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter. Links to all those will be in the description. But I found out it's a lot harder to find subscriber pickers. It's a lot easier to find comment pickers. So after you're done doing those things, just comment an emoji, just like your favorite emoji down below. That way I know that you're here for the giveaway. And uh, when I do the comment picker, I'll make sure it's one just with a random emoji. Cool, winner of the free ZG01 will be announced <laughs> next video. And you know, speaking of a free ZG01, you know it would pair well with this? The sponsor of today's video, the Wave DX by Elgato. It's Elgato's brand new dynamic mic that only costs $99, but has a killer sound. Seriously, go check out the video that we did last week where I compare the mics side by side. I'll, I'll link to it down below. They've tuned this thing to sound really good out of the box, which is very rare for a dynamic mic. Quick rapid fire feature list. It has a built-in pop filter to save your audience from hearing your P's and T's too loud. It's got a single sided mount for ultra mic flexibility. Seriously, the XLR cable doesn't hit the stand at all. And it has a cardioid pattern that picks up your voice really well while rejecting all the other room sounds. Bottom line is guys, if you're looking for a good dynamic mic at a reasonable price, the Wave DX is a fantastic option. Sounds good, looks good, easy to use, and it doesn't break the bank. So, of course, link in the description down below. Go check one out. I am fully expecting a hundred comments on this video to say, video starts at blank time code. That's why I put chapter markers in here. They're for you. If you wanna help me combat this, go ahead and put like your own video starts at blank time code and just put a random time code. Put, put uh, a time code that doesn't even exist in this video. It'll drive them nuts. Let's talk about the ZG01. This has a couple unique features that I think are really cool and it has one decision that I think was a very bad choice. We will get to that, we'll get to that later. Let's talk about the cool stuff about this because this is, the more I used it, a really cool device. It kind of feels like an homage to like the classic Astro mix amp when it comes to like simplicity and ease of use, but maybe like a mix amp on steroids. You plug it into your PC via USB, you have two main channels, you have game and voice, which they give you two separate knobs for, which I'm a big fan of. Get rid of blend knobs. I hate these stupid blend knobs when I turn up my teammates voice don't turn down my game volume don't touch me. I had that set exactly where I wanted it don't touch my game volume and then you have a master volume knob as well on the input side you have an XLR input with good old trusty Yamaha preamps do you guys remember when Yamaha was like the go-to mixer for streamers I remember I used the MG 10 XU that was before the days of the go XLR so that shook that shook things up you have a knob that controls your mic gain and then you have a fader that controls your mic output how much is sent to your teammates which honestly I'm not a fan of like the fader is the most satisfying way to control volume and they put it on the thing that you you touch the least like I feel like game sound should be on the fader, you know, cause I, I set my mic volume and then I don't touch it anymore. Not a deal breaker. Just felt like I had to say something because there's a fader on here that's never gonna get used. And then you have a handful of other little settings. For example, you have these three mic effect buttons. So things like a voice changer, things like a bleep button, things like reverb, all things that you can adjust inside the software. Then you have game effects as well. Things like accentuating the EQ of the footsteps. So if you're playing a first person shooter, you hit one and you're hearing footsteps a little bit louder or maybe immersiveness, extra surround sound if you're playing a story game like Breath of the Wild 2 or Tears, Tears of the Tears of the Kingdom. I don't remember what it's called. Anyway, that's what these buttons are for right here. But let's get into the weird stuff because there's some weird stuff on this thing. Like you may have noticed, there are three HDMI ports on the back here. Why are there three HDMI ports on an audio interface? Weird, right? These are for capturing surround sound of multiple consoles. I'm gonna let that sink in.
This is a joint audio interface that lets you plug in a PC and two consoles at the same time and then combine them into the HDMI out that goes to your monitor or TV. And this little button right here is, that, I'm sorry it's a little bit greasy, I've been pushing that button a lot. That's the switcher between one and two. So you get to control with that button which audio you're listening to and which input is coming out of the output. And because you're grabbing audio from the HDMI, you can use surround sound. So check out what happens in this software when I run the surround sound test on my Switch. Then the ZG-01 emulates that surround sound out of your stereo headphone jack and also sends that same emulated surround sound to your audience. So if you have viewers watching you game with headphones on, they get to experience that same immersive experience that you do. It's really cool. This also makes capturing multiple consoles even easier and cheaper because you only need one capture card now coming out of the HDMI out. You'll go out of here, into your capture card, then into your monitor. A couple other things of note, it's also got a speaker out right here. So maybe you finish streaming, you just want to have a nice gaming session, you can play out of your speakers instead of out of your headphones. It also has an aux in, so really a lot of inputs on this thing for whatever sources you might need. But I am going to complain about something here, something you need to know before you buy this, and I actually verified this with them. See, the HDMI throughput here has its limits, and so while it is capable of doing both 1080p and 4K, it's limited to 60 FPS. And I feel like that's a huge oversight because it means if you're using a modern console and you're running a high refresh rate or variable refresh rate, you, lo you lose both of those. You're stuck at 1080 or 4K 60 max. And that's weird because it is HDMI 2.0 and HDMI 2.0 is capable of doing 1080p 240 frames per second. And if your main feature requires you to run the HDMI through this device for it to work, you can't handicap the video signal like that. That's that's half the gaming experience. I don't think that losing high frame rates and variable refresh rates is worth surround sounds to me. Now, if you don't run more than 60 FPS anyway, then this is totally a moot point. It just doesn't matter and this is an amazing device. But I am really hoping this gets fixed with firmware updates or something because that would be a deal breaker for me, especially at a device that costs $299. I really feel like at that price point, you shouldn't be artificially bottlenecking your video experience just for a slightly better audio experience. But I'd love to know your thoughts on this. Is this really a big deal or just does it make no difference to you at all? Let me know in the comments down below. I mean, I'm a PC gamer, so I would hook this up at my setup with my Switch and I did that and it was great. Don't forget to enter the giveaway for the extra one here that Yamaha sent me. Links to everything you need down in the description below. And if you haven't seen it yet, make sure you go check out the Wave DX video that we put up last week for a new microphone. And as always, happy streaming.